Let me show you how I plan and structure all of my launch campaigns from courses, services, cohorts, coaching, communities. It's super flexible and this is the one that I use for myself and for my clients. So check this out. This is where I structure the projects so that I can delegate stuff to my team. Right now, what you're seeing on your screen is ClickUp and ClickUp is a free app that you can use to organize stuff. It's a project man management system that does so many great things for you in regards to organizing stuff. Now, the first thing I do when I'm organizing things is group the different tasks depending on where I'm going to be publishing this or depending the type of actions we're going to be taking. So as you can see, I have a few groups here. I have the social marketing campaign, email marketing campaign, the landing page, product design, which is just graphic design. And let me zoom out. And that's about it. So every launch usually has a bunch of tweets to hype the product, meaning getting people excited to buy before even launching the product. It also has around 20 to 30 different tweets that target different pain points. Also, if I'm in the mood, I'll also create a few sales carousels, which is just turning the tweets into carousels. On top of that, I'll also get 10 of the best tweets designed as Instagram stories and as individual posts that I can later on put on my feed. And of course, all of these things needs to be scheduled both on Twitter and Instagram. Then the email marketing, it consists of three hype emails, letting people know that, that I'll be launching something really soon. Then nine sales emails, at least nine, because I'll be sending one or two emails per day for a span of five to six to seven days. And of course, three post-purchase emails. And the post-purchase emails is nothing more than the emails that the buyers are going to get after they buy the product. Just like the social media marketing campaign, everything has to be scheduled. I use ConvertKit, by the way, to schedule stuff, specifically the email marketing campaign. Now, here's where things get a little bit more complicated, but I like to simplify it. So in the landing page section, it's literally just write the sales copy and create the landing page. Of course, creating the landing page involves so much more than just create and design the landing page. But since I already know the process and my graphic designer also knows the process, we don't need a lot of tasks and checklists in order to get the landing page on point. That said, the landing page includes the sales copy and a bunch of different product layouts and 3D mockups and stuff like that. When I say 3D mockup, this is what I'm talking about. This, that's a 3D mockup for my team. So my graphic designer knows which mockups to design. And these are the ones that we're going to be inserting into the landing pages. Anyhow, on ClickUp, I also link to the Notion page, to the Figma page, where we're going to be designing the 3D mockups and the Gumroad page, which is usually the e-commerce platform that I use to sell courses. And if I'm selling the course or the product outside of Gumroad, I'll link it right here. Also, depending on the product, I'll have it linked to a drive file where we have different documents. But most of the documents and stuff, we organize on Notion. And the reason we use Notion is because it's much easier to organize things there in regards to documents and files and texts and images than on ClickUp. Although ClickUp lets you create documents. So check this out. You can create a document right there, add a view, and now you'll have a way to create documents for this specific launch. That said, I don't like how ClickUp manages documents because of how much more easier it is to do this on Notion. So for example, it's really hard to give people access to specific pages here on ClickUp and also managing clients through ClickUp. It's a bit of a hurdle for clients because now they have to learn how to use a new app and stuff like that. And most of my clients already use Notion. So what I like doing is using what they already use. So let's delete this. And let's go to Notion so you can see how I organized the, what I call the deliverables of the product. So let's go there to check it out. So we have the product details. And in this case, since this is my product, all I have is like a belief map where I showcase the things I want the audience to believe about me, what I want my audience to believe about, about themselves with my product, the false beliefs people have about making money with digital products or about the specific niche you are, right? And whatnot. Anyhow. That's not where, where I want to go. I want to go here to the campaign deliverables. If I uncollapse this, you'll see that a bunch of the things that are here are also found on ClickUp. So for example, you see the sales suites right here, right? But you'll also see it right here, the social media launch campaign. And all of the tweets are written here. So what I usually do is I copy and paste the URL of this page on Notion and paste it right here on the description of the tasks so that my team knows that they have to add 
the different tweets or the different materials inside that page. So of course, there's a little bit more steps to make this happen, but the way it's organized is so, so powerful for the client because the client, all they have to do is go to this page and they'll be able to approve the sales copy, the emails, the affiliate emails, post purchase emails, and the social media marketing campaign. So literally, this is how I structure my stuff. Very simple. I have the sales page copy right here. And you can see that's a lot of text with a few images that all I do is I copy paste this on the sales page so that people can read it and decide if this is the best product for them. With all that said, I have a few templates for you and check this out. Let's go to the specific template that I want to share with you. And it's this one, plan your next digital product campaign. And here I have the belief map, the product launch checklist, how to create a launch map, which is nothing more than a way to organize the details of your launch. And of course, a few things where you can add your campaign deliverables. I've also included a few video tutorials on how to use these templates so you can better organize your launches and you can launch digital products with this, which includes courses, audiobooks, eBooks. Also, you can launch your services, your coaching services, and even your communities, because this is how flexible this system is. So once again, you'll find the link down below to download this specific template to start organizing your product launches right away. Thank you so much. My name is Jose Rosado and follow me for more instructions on how to launch digital products, how to grow your marketing firm. And if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll answer them as soon as I see it. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon.